Okay, so you'd like to enable remote access to your uh, unified panel. There are two ways you can do it. You can do it either using uh, TIA, and then it's, it's it's a permanent change that gets loaded with, with the project, or you can do it on the panel itself in the settings, and then if you overload it with a project that doesn't have it enabled, then it goes off. In this video, I'm showing you how to do it uh, from the panel itself, uh, in the other video, I'll, I'll show you how to do it from, from TIA to keep them short. So if you want to set it on the panel, you just go to your, your uh, unified comfort panel, do network and internet, remote connections, tick enable smart server, I already have it ticked as you can see, and you can define up to two users, you need to set uh, the passwords for these users, and then for most of the VNC uh, clients, you will need to disable secure communication via self-signed certificates unless you have a client that supports this mechanism. Uh, in terms of the clients that you can use, the, there's a multitude of, of clients. I'm using Tide VNC, uh, but Siemens actually distributes uh, something called Smart Client, which is a Siemens VNC a client. It's distributed with, I think, the TIA installs. So if we do Smart Client, now what IP do you use? Uh, again, if you just go to network and internet, network settings, you can quickly check the IP address of your HMI. So if you're, if you're connected to the port with, uh, to the interface with two ports, this is the IP. If you're connected to the one with one port, so X2, the gigabit one, uh, well, this is the IP address. So I'm connected to X2, I'm punching 135, connect, then I'm using one of the passwords uh, that I have defined. And there you go, I have remote access to my HMI. If you'd like to learn how to do it from, from Tia, check the other video.